Yo yeah, guys, how are we doing? Just listening to a friend's band called uh, FVK because they're the probably the only license free music I can have in the background while I do the painting today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so today we're going to be uh, doing frame 53 of episode 1. And it basically involves uh, a view of these characters walking down this corridor. And, um, you know, Kate's going to be going into a different room. So Kate is this character here, this one here. And, uh, yeah, so basically I've just got to be recreating this corridor here. So, first things first, I better copy it over. But,. This is the first sort of live stream I'm doing uh, after launching my Patreon for this uh, um, cartoon series, and I've literally just uploaded a new video. Um, it's gonna be about there. Just uploaded a video to my channel, which uh, maybe I should turn the music down. Yeah, there we go. Um, just uploaded a video promoting the the actual. Uh, cartoon on the channel. <clears throat> um, I wanted to sort of keep a promise and I've got some time so I'm gonna do some more painting um, but I might not I'll be looking at the chat and stuff while painting but um, uh, yeah I'm basically just gonna be focusing in and uh, yeah we'll see how far we get. I'll turn that down a little bit so it's not so loud in my ear. All right. These sort of first bits, you know, when I'm just recreating a background, it's just going to be quite rough to begin with. did have this file uh, saved without Kate, <laughs> but um, I actually find it uh, more uh, therapeutic to go through the frame and uh, remove the character. Hopefully by the end of this stream we'll have a nice little frame to uh, add. I haven't listened to this album in so long. <laughs> it's my friend's band. Yo Cretaceous the Hunted, welcome to the stream. I don't know how loud the music's coming through on, you, on the, your guys end. Um. You have to let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. But I just wanted some background noise while I'm painting. It'd be rather quiet if it was just me silently painting. Hello, Gabriel. It's not that loud, perfect. Yeah, they're they're unfortunately um they they broke up not too long ago. They're off doing their own different musical things now. But um, yeah, an old friend's band who I thought, you know what, there's no no copyright. They've said I could use the music in the past. Why not? Just some rocking tunes. Hello, Shadow. Welcome. Hello, 
Have you seen any dinosaur documentaries like When Dinosaurs Roamed America? Uh, I've watched Walking with Dinosaurs. I actually own those on DVD. The Ballad of Big Owl as well. And the ones with Nigel Marvin. But um, I actually haven't watched too many dinosaur documentaries in a long time. Ah, Mark Davies just uh, subscribed to the Patreon. I'll have to send him a message in a bit and say thank you. I'm just very roughly, as you can see, removing this character. And then I'll smooth out and make this all nice. But this actually, this background's going to be all blurry anyway, so most of the detail will be lost, so I'm not worried about it too much. Have you seen Planet Dinosaur? I've heard of Planet Dinosaur. I've heard a lot of people talk about Planet Dinosaur. I haven't actually got round to watching it. But it's good that you guys are suggesting this, because obviously I'm working on this series, so um, I'll... Uh, I'll be needing to check out some dinosaur documentaries uh, as inspiration because there's going to be some species in this series that um, you know I want to uh, learn what the, the paleontologists believe their traits were so I can sort of bring them to life correctly. Mark Davies. Oh yes, thank you Mark for becoming a patron. I just saw I got the notification on my phone. Uh, no worries man. Greatly appreciated. Like, really, really thank you so much. Um, it's one of those... I'm quite nervous because it's one of those things, like, you always want to, you know, it's something that you create um, to be successful, but, like, to, to put it out there is actually quite nerve-wracking. Um. Because <laughs> you never know, like, what people's reactions are going to be or if they're going to like it. I heard Godzilla 2 will appear at San Diego Comic Con in two weeks. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. I can't wait. The next film I'm really anticipating is um, The Predator, and then after The Predator, it will be Godzilla 2. Cool dinosaur related documentaries, Dinosaur 13, about the events around the discovery of Sue the T-Rex's skeleton and ensuing legal battles, says Mark Davies. Yeah, that's actually one I've heard a lot about, so that, that one I definitely want to check out. I'll see if I can find it. I think it might be on Netflix. Um, I actually, yeah, I want to check out some dinosaur documentaries and uh, see, uh, see what they have to say. There we go, getting the corridor looking better now. Yo, Hardcore Jed. Grim Mean Thing, hello, welcome to the chat. Do you know what, I should actually put my bloomin', I should put a link to my Patreon on the, on the actual stream, shouldn't I? Uh, what text have we got here? Let's have a look. Testing stream, okay, let's, uh, let's edit this. <laughs> Uh, where are we looking? Uh, if you go to this, that should be the link to the actual... Oh, it's locked. There we go. Oh, where did I just... I just lost it. Where did it go? Hmm. Uh, let me remove it, wait, let me add it again. believe that is what it is. 
Now people can uh, go sit, go to the link Patreon. Look how you did it. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's on Netflix, uh, says Mark Davies. That's how my wife and I found it. Still not 100% sold on the Predator, but I remember being the same with Predators and really enjoying it for what it is. Yeah, yeah. I really liked Predators. Um, it wasn't like the greatest. But um, it was all right. I just don't think they fully, fully explored the alien world aspect of it as much as they probably could have. I mean, I w I thought it was okay, and I liked that they had like the um, it was like a. Uh, you know, it was like suited to human uh, humans living there because uh, they were they trapped them. You know, um, but I felt like they could have really utilised like the alien planet and uh, showed off some really weird stuff. See what else you guys are saying. Um. <laughs> Your favorite dinosaur is Paratrolophus Shadow. Nice. Indominus Rex or Endoraptor says uh, Shadow. Um, I don't like to really pick favorites because I think they're actually quite different in the way they're presented um, and they're both like deadly in different ways but the one I actually felt if I'm gonna be honest I felt more tension from was definitely the endoraptor but that just might be because of the like enclosed space that it was in compared to the indominus but I like them both I don't know if you guys saw, I'm doing my Jurassic Live chat number nine on Tuesday um, at 10, 10 o'clock on uh, UK time. So I'm actually like bending the corridor a little bit down here because it's, it's meant to be a little bit warped. Uh, by the angle of the eye looking at it. Actually, although I don't like that one. I like this side being warped. And then, let's see if I can get this in one go. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh, there we go, got it. Nice. Look at that. Okay, because then there's a big round door here, and I'm actually going to have to uh, um, move the stream over and look at my assets on this computer so I can see how I drew the door. Um, let's see, uh, how did I draw the door? actually have it uh, 
Okay. Um... I have to keep in mind because this door that I'm about to draw opens in the next frame. So I've got to like sort of work out how it opens. I'm just going through all my assets to see if I've actually drawn it. Because I've got so many files, just like files and files and files of stuff I've drawn for this. Like layers and different props and different uh, sets. I've saved it as a door, I think. If I have. Um, no, I don't think I have, actually. Oh, wait, there we go. Uh, no. Okay. Will you post Dino Defenders on YouTube? I will eventually, yeah. I'll hopefully be posting each of the episodes on, um, Terradome. And then, uh, maybe, uh, when I've done the whole thing, that'll probably go to Vimeo, but, uh, I'll definitely be posting it on Terradome uh, once it's done, but obviously uh, it's going to take a while to finish um, unless the Patreon meets its goal. If the Patreon meets its goal, I'll be able to work on it basically full time. And then it'll get done much, much quicker. So like right now, I'm, I've got the chance to work on it today by sheer luck. <laughs> so... So let's make this bigger, bigger again. No, wait, why, why did that not work? Because I've got my um, computer up and running properly again now, so like the streaming should uh, should uh, be fine. Hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. But if so, I should be streaming for like hours now. Like I said, I'm only roughly doing the background right now because it's going to be blurry or blurred slightly, so it's not uh, crucial to be like all pristine. And we get to draw a character.
Okay, that looks pretty good. And then uh, just gonna wash out. Oh no, way, way, way too bright. Mid tones. There we go. So, Raptorus77, hello, how are we doing? <laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> Why are you saying General Kenobi? Hello there. <laughs> Isn't that what he says when he like jumps down from a, um, to like surprise Grievous? Hello there. <laughs> Okay, right, now let's get this door door done. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it as a new layer. <laughs> I need healing. What are you talking about? Yo, Skills Hub, how are we doing? Okay, that needs to be... There we go. There we go, that perfect. And now I'm gonna do like an inner shadow on this thing, so then get the uh, the depth of the door. What's well, actually meant to be a little bit further up. What are you playing? I'm, I'm actually, uh, well, music or this? I'm painting a frame for a cartoon series I'm working on um, and listening to my friend's old band called uh, Fearless Vampire Killers. <laughs> Because that's probably the only copyright music, copyright free music I could use on the stream without getting flagged. And plus, I haven't listened to him in ages, and uh, it's nostalgic for me because I used to listen to him all the time when I was younger, being friends with him and whatnot. Since you're making a dinosaur-centric cartoon feature, says Raptus77, which would you say is your favourite of the animated dinosaur show or movie? Ooh, um, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, definitely. That's one of the biggest inspirations for this as well. Just need to double check the asset again. Let's see what how the uh, how the door looked again. Okay, so it has a white, right, right. Um, 
Okay. You should play Jurassic World, the game, or Jurassic World Evolution. I've played Jurassic World Evolution. Um, I'm I will be probably live streaming it again soon. Is the, uh, the the Photoshop's not right on OBS? I've just noticed. Yeah, there it is. Too, it's too. Uh, That's better. Okay, so the door has like this bit that comes down like this. It's actually like a lighter white color. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing, now I've got my live streaming stuff set up, I'll, I think once I've got time and I'm not working on this or anything else, I'll play more Evolution on a live stream. But I'm actually playing the game um, sort of in my own time and when I unlock, I mean I've already unlocked Nublar, but once I've unlocked all the like really cool stuff um, like that you get in the game, I'll be live streaming like a, a builder park on Nublar. So. It should be fun because all I want to do is build the biggest park, the best park I can, and then just release all the dinosaurs and watch the chaos unfold. Oh yeah, I love um, Land Before Time. I've got um, a few here. Talking about animated movies, I've got um, Disney's Dinosaur right here. Uh, <laughs> this one's going to be funny on the green screen. We're back a dinosaur story, but <laughs> it's not going to work because because uh, of the green screen like that. <laughs> um, and Land Before Time. I actually do own them. My DVD collection is like right next to me, so I can like just pull up anything. If you hear that noise, it's because I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. If you're wondering what that is. There we go. Um, I just need to double check that again. How did I jump? Okay. Has another white bit down there. What does the name Velociraptor mean? Uh, Swift Thief, right? Is that right?
right, let's add a lock. Sorry, I was just checking a, a message on my phone. I'm just gonna add like a little um, scanning system. Have you seen Gravity Falls? No, I haven't. Um, is that a TV series or is it a movie? I've heard of it. I haven't seen it though. See now, like when I design stuff like this, like lock I'm doing on this door. I have to remember, like, obviously, keep in mind that, like, whenever the characters visit this part of the, uh, this base in the story, I'm gonna have to, like, make sure all the, uh, details add up, so. So just something simple like that. Um, oh, there's one episode where they find dinosaurs. What what is Gravity Falls? What's the plot? Just gonna add some lighting up here. Now I'll do what I said earlier and blur the background a little bit. Um. Nope, not 32. Two, there we go. And then I might just blur. the bottom just a little bit more. Like that, and there we basically have our um, background. Might just uh, add a little bit of lighting to this bit. Oh, I remember this being the bloomin' last track on the album, so let me see if I can find some other music for us to listen to. Um, See if we can have a, say have a SoundCloud or something.
Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> uh, let's see how... Uh, it's about two siblings that visit their uncle for summer, uh, who's a con artist. While that's going on, some supernatural, some new supernatural stuff happens in each episode. Check it out; it's pretty good. Uh, is that on Netflix? Hmm. Gonna have adverts? No. If they have adverts, I'll just have to skip them. Okay, so let me save this then. File, save. This is my friend's band's second album, Unbreakable Hearts. Right, so now I have Kate already uh, here, but I'm actually, this isn't like the size that she needs to be, so I need to create a new layer. And then draw her in a new position. basically opening this door for these characters. Is Dimetrodon, Dimetrodon a dino or a mammal? I know the answer. Uh, it's neither, right? It's a reptile. <laughs> it's, it's not a dinosaur. I know that much. Okay, so now we're going to try and get this down via another layer. Now I know the rough outline that she's going to be in. Grim mean thing, go for it. Vault VHS Chrisney asks, What do you think of the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line? I personally think they are the best since 1993. And do you have any favourites? Um, I agree, they are uh, the best since, in my opinion, the best since um, the Lost World toy line. Um, I bought a few for my nephew. I actually don't own any uh, of them. Um, 
but they are amazing. I bought him the Fresh and Fro T Rex and the uh, the Stegosaurus, and also Owen and Claire. And the Claire figure I bought was the one the Claire with the gyrosphere. Um, I don't know if she's actually going to be pushing the button or using her card to get through. I think she'll be using her, her ID card. So I'll just for now I'll put it like this. You want to get the Spinosaurus Shadow? Yeah, I, I really want to get the Spinosaurus for my little nephew because he loves that thing. It's out in the States, right? In a month, in like this month. See, I'm based in the UK, so we get everything later. Fallen Kingdom line looks so much better than the crap we got from Hasbro. Yep. Yep. You're speaking the truth, brother. <laughs> we could say it like Wheatley. You're speaking the truth, brother. Are you the Raptor Wrangler? <laughs> I do own a few uh, new Jurassic stuff. I don't own any of the toy lines, but I have, um, which I can show you on here. Uh, oh, the, this is holding up the, this is helping hold up the mic. Let me, uh, this is probably gonna be really loud. There we go. Yeah, I've got the uh, the evolution of Claire, and uh, uh, what else have I got near me? Oh, nothing. I got my. Uh, <laughs> I have to lean over. I've got my ticket to the premiere. My ticket to the Spanish premiere. Uh. A blue badge, and uh, a, you're not really going to say <laughs> you can't see it at all because it's green. But they're um, it's a DPG badge, but because it's green, you can't see it. Um, I don't know if I can put it in shadow so you can see it. No, no. That the only the only um. Figure I want to get from the uh, Mattel line is the uh, the Herrerasaurus, and I will be picking that up real soon because it's uh, you know based on the one from Jurassic Park the game. You'll support some for your nephew, says Vault. Nice. 
Yeah, the Jurassic Park free line is better than the Hasbro one. I actually only own because I sold a lot of my old uh, Jurassic toys. Um, I've only got uh, from my Jurassic Park free toy line. I've only got. Oh no, I've got like a, a sort of another one here. I've got the Spinosaurus. And uh, <laughs> this one's going to be funny because it's green. The Brachiosaurus. <laughs> I don't feel too well. It's like Infinity War. <laughs> save me! Save me! Oh. <laughs> Monster Man Alex bought every Lego set, bed sheet, blankets, cups, PJs. Pants, underwear, I'm glad to be 30. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I turned 30 at the end of the year, so I know that sentiment. Is it doing that? It's like adding. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit with her head. Um, actually, she might need to be a little bit bigger. Why can't I grab her? There we go. How big is she in this one? Yeah, she's see, she's quite tall, so all right. And then let's uh, add the color, and I'll do her head last. Mike Davis, keep trying to find some of the little baby dino hatchling toys for my daughter, but I haven't found them anywhere yet. Uh, you need to try, like, um, what was it, like, The Entertainer, um, Argos, uh, not, yeah, Argos, um, Asda as well, if you're in the UK, uh, Asda's owned by Walmart. So they tend to get like what Walmart gets, Asda tends to get uh, Smith's toys as well. Lego should do a remake of the Jurassic Park 3 plane set back in 2001. Yeah, but with the uh, Spinosaurus from the, the game, right? Because the Spinosaurus that was in that Lego set back in 2001 sucked. <laughs> But that was actually from a cool line called Lego Studios. I actually owned that when I was a kid. That was my first sort of camera 
that I got was that webcam for stop motion. And it came with like a little Lego studio that like came with a spiel, little Lego spiel bag. I think it was like endorsed by him as well. Gonna be funny watching the final product after all these live streams are going. Oh, that's where that goes in the story. There's Mark Davies. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be a while, and there's a lot of stuff that I obviously won't live stream because there'll be like spoilers. <laughs> but things like this, uh, you know, and you won't get the dialogue in the live streams because that'll happen afterwards. And who knows? This might even be like a deleted scene. There's some frames that I've already drawn and then I've put into the edit, and then I've gone. Actually, that doesn't that doesn't fit. But what you're seeing now is from episode one, because I'm I'm going through it in chronological order. Not at the ultimate hardness. See, David dear, I want a Lego set of the auction scene in Fallen Kingdom. Ah, oh, yeah, that would be great. You could get like a Baryonyx Lego toy, a uh, Baryonyx, an Ankylosaurus, and a uh, uh, juvenile juvenile Allosaurus. I'd love you to do an episode of the Pterodome. Top 10 best JP toys and top 10 worst JP toys. Do you know what, Vault? That's a great idea. Maybe I will do that. Um, but just so you know, the reason why uh, the Pterodome episodes have actually slowed down is because I've just bought a new house. So, and we're moving in like uh, within the next month and a bit, like month and a half we're moving. And so the set is actually stored away. So I haven't actually had a chance to make any Pterodome episodes. Plus I've been busy working on the Dinosaur Protection Group stuff for Universal. Um, so it's like basically I've put the Pterodome episodes on the back burner until I've moved into this new place. Because I actually have like an... Uh, I actually have like a space at this new... Uh, house where I like a, like an outside mini mini studio that I can turn into a pterodome so that's what I'm actually going to be doing because I've got like loads of other videos that I'm planning on uh, doing for the channel because I have uh, more time uh, to do that sort of stuff coming up 
Um, I've got like ideas for videos, uh, like um, <laughs> like the Jurassic Park, uh, the links between Twister and Jurassic Park, <laughs> why I consider Twister canon. <laughs> but yeah, I'll do. I'll definitely do that. Top ten Jurassic Park toys and top ten worst ones. I'll do that. That sounds like a good idea. Congratulations on the new houses, Mike Davies. Thank you, yes. Uh, that's basically where all my... Uh, <laughs> where all my money's gone into just buying this new place and uh, preparing the move. So... So I was like, oh, I need to... Uh, uh, get some funding for old uh, Dino Defenders. Shadow says, what's your favourite dinosaur? Mine would probably be T-Rex. But, it's, I don't know, they're animals, so it's like, you know, I can't really pick favourites. So now I'm going to do my little cheating thing, where I take Kate's head. Oh, I need to do it with the mouse. Uh, he's got a tiny head. Remove her mouth because obviously she's going to be talking. Now I'm actually going to merge all those layers together because uh, it's okay. So we've basically got Kate's look down uh, from that to this. And I think that's the card she uses. Uh, actually, I believe I have it here, her ID card. There you go. So they have this like, uh, like thing with all the characters on it. Um, this is one one sheet character sheet, and then I have like loads of other character sheets. Um, but this I can actually get her ID. I believe is what she uses to open doors, if I remember correctly, because <laughs> I'm coming back to this after a while. Let's have a look. I've got a close-up shot of her opening a door somewhere.
Hmm. I can't seem to find it now. strange I seem to have actually lost oh no there it is okay I'm just looking at the size of it quite a small ID card anyway uh, let's see what do you think of the Carnosaur movies asks Monster Man Alex uh, I've seen number one number three and number four <laughs> I've not seen Carnosaur 2 Funny enough, um, and I think they're just uh, bad, bad, but good, like funny bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> cheating says Shadow. Well, the thing is, like, I'm, I'm going to be able to draw her head in different positions in other frames, but for this one, it's like, there's no real point because she's looking forward, so I might as well, you know, just use the actual head, and that also helps with consistency with the character. Um, have a DVD for the entry for the Black Sack reviews, Jurassic Predator, says Mark Davies. If I can find that and put it in there, I will. I've actually got the Black Sack behind me. Um, David Deer asks, would you ever think of doing a sequel to Dino Defenders Extreme? <laughs> well, uh, I've got to, you know, finish this one first. <laughs> I'd love to be able to get to the point where I could seriously consider doing a uh, sequel, if you know what I mean. I'd love to get to the point where I finish this and then... Uh, have the ability to consider it, um, but some of you may know I actually I've actually self-published a book um, called Through the Dark and the Dawn, um, which is out there in the world somewhere on Lulu, um, and I think the, there's a Kindle version, but I don't know. But anyway, that um, there was a time where I was actually considering this to be a, a prequel to that. Um, I don't know if I will continue with that because uh let's see now that looks funny. I need to, I need to change this. I'll sort the hand out with the ID in a minute. It's not looking real. <laughs> I just want to get the, uh... Wait, how does someone... I can look at my own hand. More an angle. Pinched fingers. Okay, so, let me... Move the ID. To redo our hand. Let's see what are you guys saying. Honestly, you're more than welcome to have my copy of it, Mark Davies says. Oh man, yeah, oh, that'd be swish. Um, I'll send you a message through Patreon, and uh, maybe we can organize that. But the thing is, like, see, this is the thing, like, part of the black sack is, uh, um, you know, Will has to pull out the uh, the right one. Um, how do I do with that? If 
but yeah, I can definitely put it in there, and we can hope that he uh, he pulls it out, you know. Uh, British Tyrannosaur, that feeling when you're late to a stream feels bad, man. Well, I've been streaming for an hour and I'm planning on doing it for, what's the time now, for? Yeah, I'm planning on streaming for a good, good, maybe a couple more hours. Or at least until this frame, I'm happy with this frame. Mark Davies, I actually have a Kindle version of your book. It's on my list to read with about eight hours. Well, uh, <laughs> so Through the Dark and the Dawn was a book that I wrote as a way of teaching myself to write better because uh, I originally wasn't that good at English. And uh, so I thought, you know what, the best way to, to teach myself how to uh, write better English was to try and write something. And I ended up trying to write an entire novel and then I actually completed it. I actually did it after five years of writing. And um, I'm very proud of it. I can't say it's probably the best written thing ever, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, it should be quite fun. And it's interesting with um, the way Fallen Kingdom ended, because the book that I wrote is about people living alongside dinosaurs. So I thought that was quite funny. Like the book maybe could look at like Jurassic Park in like, I don't know, millions of years time. <laughs> you get to the through the dark and the dawn. That's better. Okay, now I can get the ID and actually uh, change the perspective actually. Who do you like better, Titanosaurus or Gorgosaurus, says Grim Mean Thing, from the uh, Kaiju universe? Ooh, I'm going to go with Gor Gorgosaur or Gorosaurus because um, as much as I love the design of Titanosaur, um, Gor Gorosaurus doesn't make such an annoying sound. <laughs> like the Titanosaur is just like kind of... I remember him constantly going like, wow, 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 like that. And it's like, just shut the hell up. <laughs> that was my, uh, you know, Titanosaurus uh, impression right there. Mm 
It's actually a little bit smaller than that, so. Titanosaur, the screaming kaiju. Yeah. <laughs> British Tyrannosaur, I need to finish my book. I haven't got past the intro. I'll do books take like so long to make. Like, but you stick at it. There'll come a point where you realise that you're on the like road to finishing it. At least the uh you know, the the skeleton of the story. Wait, how many fingers has this woman got? One, two, three, four, five Oh my god. <laughs> she had one more finger than she should have. I do like Titanosaurus, don't get me wrong, I just thought the noises it made was just annoying. I want to hear a quick rundown of these Dino Defenders characters. Ooh. Um. Well. A quick rundown of all these characters, where you've got Kate Launton, she's the Director of Operations. Uh, you've got... Um, Greg, I think his name is. He works in uh, surveillance. Uh, you've got Jess. She's a dinosaur expert. You've got... Uh, I forget his name now. Some of these characters are unnamed at this time. Um, what did I name him? I can't remember now. But he's like the uh, liaison for these characters. He works for the company, but he's never been to the base uh, before. You've got, uh, wait, what's his name? I'm trying to remember my own character's names. <laughs> I've got them written down. Here they are. Here you go. So you've got Kate Lawton, yep. Greg Buzz Aldridge, this guy here. He works on the surface level, so he works outside. Uh, and he works on, like, the communication of everyone. You've got, um... Uh, Kevin, this guy here, he's a mechanic. He works on the uh, the top level. You've got uh, 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 Robert, this guy here, and Wesley. These are the two uh, animal specialists. They uh, deal with um, large animals like crocodiles and stuff. Um, and then they're brought in to deal with the dinosaurs. That's all I can say at this time. There are loads of other characters, and there's a character who is behind this door, who um, who runs the entire operation that they're visiting. And she, uh, I've designed her character, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you on here. So Rose Anchor, which I haven't even drawn yet, but she's like this old lady. Going for an almost like uh, Flacia style with her eyes, like Felix the cat. But I've drawn her in here, and I've storyboarded. I've storyboarded all the scenes that we're leading up to. So we just got to get to it. But I was just, um, you know, on YouTube and because uh, I watch a lot of live streams. I watch a lot of gaming live streams. Um, and uh, and I watch a lot of movie reviews and part of me was sitting there thinking, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool? Or like every everyone seems to be doing that right now. Like doing, they do game live streams or they do movie review live streams or anything like that. And even I do that. Um, what am I trying to do here? There we go. Merge those layers. And I was trying to think, like, what is different? What could I bring to the internet that is uh, different to, like, what everyone else is doing? And so I figured, actually, you know what? Doing a cartoon series, but in, like, and showing the creation from start to finish 
uh, should hopefully be different. You know, something that you hear a lot of people talking about, like, you know, being creative and stuff. And it's like, actually, I want to show people uh, the creative process and hopefully inspire some people to do stuff of their own. Because gaming live streams are fun and all to watch, but, you know, they ain't... <laughs> you can only, like, say... I mean, they end up becoming, like, podcasts. People just talk about anything in them other than the game, eventually. <laughs> Which is fine. And she's got quite a big boob. Let's uh, sort her chest area out. She's not that uh, big. <laughs> That's better. And so yeah, so hopefully like I've uh this will this will become quite a successful little series of uh videos. Cause like there's so many creative people out there in the world right now. There's not too many that I know of that um you know, invite people to come see the entire process and give input as we go along. And uh, like, you know, give feedback as you're going and get a set of eyes on the drawing and, you know, and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully this will uh, be something special. I know people like do live stream painting and stuff on Twitch. But like that would be like one image. I don't know anyone who's done like an entire production. <laughs> Kate has six fingers. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. Don't worry. Need to watch that Patreon video you posted. A trailer or something else. It's just me sitting there talking about like what the project is and why uh, I'm looking for people to help. Does Dino Defenders have a set of list of episodes yet? Uh, has six episodes. I've named I've named them, but I don't want to reveal them at this time because uh, you know, there might be some spoilers in the actual title. But episode one is called I can reveal episode one is called the Petri Dish, and that's the name of this. Uh, you know where they are right now. It's the name of the base, the nickname to the base that they're in. It's called the Petri Dish. <laughs> I'm gonna get the boob right. She's looking better now. Um, so she has these like pinstripe. Is that the right colour? Let me see if I can grab it. There it is. The symmetry of breasts are important, yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued uh, how to do the mouth and talking. Well, actually, uh, the mouths aren't really going to be moving uh, at the moment. I'm debating this at this time. There's a one frame I've done as a test where the mouth is moving on one of the characters. And it looks okay, but um, it's something I'm thinking of considering because I've got all these, like, um, I've got subtitles. So like, uh, you know, people's mouths moving would help with like understanding who's talking because at the moment I've actually got their speeches color coded. So everyone who talks has their own color. So you know uh, who's talking by what color the text is. But it's a bit of a, if I'm honest, it's a bit of a convoluted way of um, doing it. So I'm thinking of doing the mouths moving 
but we'll we'll have to see. Because doing mouths moving is actually quite hard. Because they have to match what they're saying. And especially in a silent film, it's like you're not going to hear them anyway. So, <laughs> And I don't want their mouths to just be like flapping open like... Because I, I don't think that would look good. So they'd have to have their mouth moving in a certain way that looks like they're saying what's written. But then I just thought it might be easier just to have it so it's like, um, you know... The color coded uh, subtitles, which seems to be all right at the moment, but it will be something that um, I'll be working on as I go through it, seeing if that's the right way to do it. Creating content for YouTube is harder than people think, says Vault VHS. I don't do animation, but I'd love to make films using action figures. It's not easy to produce your own content from scratch. I know, right? <laughs> I fully understand. So will it be animated fully? Some audio series use still images, and that's fine if talking is a problem. British Tyrannosaur, if you want to know what this series is going to be like, um, go to the Patreon overview page. The link is this link, this link above me, it's like at the top of uh, the stream. You go to that link, you should find a video that um, is like two minutes worth of episode one. Um, and you'll see the, the style. You'll see like what I'm going for. Um... Right, now I'm gonna add the uh, outlines. Are you listening to the Jake and Josh theme? J Drake and Josh theme? Says British Transor. <laughs> now I'm listening to my old friend's band. Oh, shite. What have I just done? Oh, <gasps> Cade, no. There you are. Um, now I'm listening to my old friend my friend's old band fearless vampire killers who have actually split up unfortunately but um i thought what's royalty free what's uh or what's copyright free that i can have and won't get my video flagged crits gaming us what is this for well, if you uh, click on the Patreon link or go to the Patreon link that's uh, up here, you'll find out. It's, uh, you'll find out more information, but it's for a um, cartoon series I'm working on. Or an animated series, should I say. Do you know what? That should be just white. Well, wow, flow is 55%, that's why. I was like, I wonder why that was doing that. You just use royalty-free retro wave music. Yeah, I will be changing up the music I listen to in other streams, so maybe I'll check that out. <laughs> Pterodome is Boss Ross and his dino tune. <laughs> Monster Man Alec. Crits Gaming says, cool, do you have any voice actors? Uh, no, it's um, it's actually going to be a silent film. Um, it, so, like, imagine, like, the old silent films from, like, the 20s. It's going to have subtitles. I was considering voice actors, um, and maybe that is an option I can do later on down the line, because the good thing about this project is I can uh, consider all options. Um, but once I've got the thing finished with like the uh, the dialogue and stuff all written down in the show, um, I can consider if I want to like redo it with voice actors. No, 
no roars. Oh, there will be um, there. Well, there's music. I don't know if there will be any sound effects, but that's another thing that, if I'm honest, that's something I'm uh, considering. The only thing is, is like I really like the idea of like I love silent film. I love like the old 1925, uh, you know, uh, Lost World and and that. And so I'm like considering, you know, oh, imagine if uh, if there was like a uh, silent film today where like the music is literally the voice and the heart and soul of of the uh story other than the visuals and plus that means i can get it uh out really quick as well or well, it's quicker than uh normal <laughs> But like I like I'm not gonna lie, I am considering like all options. <laughs> How far are you into production? Asked Chris Gaming. Um, so if there's any, um, here's a here's a good time frame. So I've got six episodes planned, with uh, each about ten to fifteen minutes long, and right now I'm about six to seven minutes into episode one. <laughs> um, I hope that answers your question. Like, I've got a little way to go. But that's hence why I've got the Patreon, because, uh, you know, if I meet that goal on there, then I'll be able to do this much, much quicker, because I'll be working on it solidly, so... But we'll see how we go. We'll see what, see how well we do. See. Sounds ambitious, but really good. I'll definitely subscribe. Oh, cheers, man. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's so that's why I'm trying to keep things simple to begin with. You know, I'm drawing the frames, I'm animating, writing it myself. So I know I've got no one else to sort of answer to in that department, um, which means I can get it done relatively simple and then the only other people I'm basically working with are my composers who are, do, who are planning on doing the music so um, and I'll be sending them the sections of each episode where a song will start and finish um, and then once I send those off to them they can score it and then send it back to me and then I piece it all together so you know, getting voice actors and stuff involved would then mean, you know, I've got to wait on the voice actors to be free. I've got to basically organize that. And it's like, actually, you know what, to me, I just want to get the story out because I love telling stories. That's like the number one thing I like doing in life is telling stories. And, uh, you know, as some of you know, I've just finished doing the, the work for uh, Universal, doing the viral marketing for the new Jurassic film. And uh, we told many stories with that, and, uh, and that made me truly happy. Um, had some dream come true things ha happen with that. However, that said, Jurassic Park's not mine. It's uh, it's obviously Universal, and uh, and owned by the Crichton Estate. That's Michael Crichton's baby. So um, I like creating something of my own, and uh, and proving that you know. <laughs> Uh, I could do something of my own. I mean, you just need to ask my wife. Like, I'm constantly creating stuff. I, I can't stop.
Will they be uploaded on a schedule or all at once? Um, I'll be uploading each episode as soon as they're complete, but um, because we do, uh, you know, because I'm a mar- I'm a marketing guy, uh, I'm gonna. You'll know when they're coming because all over Twitter and stuff, I'll be, you know, marketing it as well. Um, I'll have like posters or like a social stuff, a Twitter account. I'll be doing it all properly. I want the audience to be uh, I want there to be an audience when it drops rather than my loyal loyal followers like yourselves Mention chaos effect on the overview. Does that mean there'll be a T-Rex Stego Komodo? <laughs> uh, there's definitely some genetic tampering, but uh, not nothing that specific. Right, I need to. There's definitely, uh, yeah, genetic tampering going on. Obviously, um, you know, um, Jurassic Park sort of owns the world of dinosaur stories and stuff. So I need to uh, do something with this that, uh, well, I think I need to do something with this that makes it stand out um, uh, from others and, you know, Push and I push ideas out there that people might not have thought about, or uh, or you know expect. And I've got something in in store for this, which I hope does that. Plus, you know, it'd just be cool to have uh, more dinosaur content out there. <laughs> Will a Spinosaurus appear? Uh, no, but um, there is something with a spine on its back appearing. Actually, two two things, two species appear in this story which have spines on their backs. One of them you'd have seen on the uh, on the Patreon page. Which is um. You know, based on this tiny doodle I did uh, way back in the day. Oh, it's going to get blurred out. Yeah, you can't really see it. They're like, yeah. I did a very, very rough doodle of this thing and then I turned it into what you see on the thing. <laughs> British Tyrannosaur says, but is Dinosaur Defenders canon? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a uh, canon with itself, and I was debating making it canon with my self-published book, but I don't think I'll be doing because the styles. I mean, well, they're very different. Inkfear vent ventinator. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, 
no, that's not that species. I think she kind of looks like she's wearing a cape with a uh... so maybe I need to uh Is Deep Rising too good for the black sack? Asked Monster Man Alex. Yes, it is. <laughs> Deep Rising is a great movie. Will Deep Blue Sea get a review? No, no, I'm not going to be reviewing that. Is the species our shadow Baryonyx and Sukumimus? No, um, forget the name of it now. It was revealed. Uh, look. I wrote it down. So the creature that has the orange head and the blue body is a... Uh, where is it? How did I write it? It's a uh, mega raptor. No, I know British Tyrannosaur. No, I know Deep Blue Sea Two had a had a sequel, or Deep Blue Sea had a sequel, but I'm not reviewing it. I'm not even going to watch it. Mega Raptor, the biggest raptor, yep. That's right. There we go. Can Allosaurus appear? Uh no, unfortunately I've already got my list of dinosaurs and I've got um I can reveal I've got Mega Raptor and uh uh what was the other one that I said was going to appear? Um Megalosaurus, but there, there's a few herbivores, there's a few other creatures that aren't dinosaurs that are in this. Mark Davies, got to go, heading for the bus, uh, may make it back depending on how longer you're streaming. Uh, thank you man, I have a good bus journey and thank you so much for becoming a patron, honestly, means so, so much. Um, yeah, and you know you'll be getting a credit once this is all finished. <laughs> Or once uh, episode one's out.
few dinosaurs that have Mega in their name. Exactly. Now you're starting to catch on. <laughs> don't worry, they don't all have Mega in the name. <laughs> There's Megalosaurus, Mega Raptor. Okay, I should probably do her mouth now. So I'm actually going to um, remove the original Kate. Don't need her anymore. Oh, actually, there's the mole. I'm going to make a new layer for the mouth. see. Megasuchus, Megasaurus Rex, yeah. <laughs> see you later, Grim Mean Thing. I watched the movie so bad on Hulu it took me three nights to finish it. The Tall Man. No, not Phantasm. Oh, really? Uh, I like the, um, the Phantasm films. They're really funny. I mean, they're very weird. Okay, right, let's... She's going to be sort of looking happy, so... It's so funny how, like, a mouth, you can just, uh, like, you know, change the emotions of someone. You could be like, Hey! Or you can be like, Oh! Or, like, she's, like, thinking... <laughs> She's like, ah! <laughs> Did you see Phantasm Five Ravenger? No, I've only I've seen uh, the first three. I've seen the first three ones. But, um, Yeah, the first three films, but I haven't seen uh, any of the others. Yeah, there was always one bit in one of those films, and I forget which one it is, which really disturbed me as a kid. Ooh, music's gone. What we got here. Um, let's see. See about putting more of their music on. What we got? Uh, albums. Here we go. Oh, I like I like these. Ones. <laughs> See the uh, the initial um you know uh catalyst for this project was my wife said she was like you know you can draw dinosaurs you know pretty well her, her quote by the way <laughs> and um and she said but humans are something that you actually struggle with a little bit so she was like you know you should uh you should learn to draw humans 
um, you know, bear and match the dinosaurs. So I was like, do you know what? I'll uh, I'll take I'll take that up. And um, I fought long and hard for ages. Uh, you know what I wanted to, how I wanted to approach this. You know, so at first I started like doing sketches of like. Uh, humans in different positions trying to do the usual like posing art and stuff and uh and then i got a little bit better and then i was like do you know what much like i did with my book where i taught myself to write better through just writing a book and then listening to feedback on like the mistakes i'd made and stuff i'll uh i'll uh work on drawing humans doing a this and so i started on you know, doing this series as a way of like helping myself draw humans, um, and I've started with this like very stylized look to the drawing. Um, as a way of like helping me uh, understand how to like draw them. So I'm hoping by the end of this project I'll be able to draw humans like freehand a lot better than what I'm doing right now. Uh, MRM7 asks, is there any easier program for animation? There probably is, but I'm, I'm not animating it in Photoshop, I'm using a completely different program for the animation. I just draw the layers and I do everything else like in Photoshop. Hands and noses are the hardest for me, says Monster Man Alex. Humans are harder than dinosaurs, says Shadow. Yes, they are. Um, so that's why I'm going for like this uh, sort of cartoony look because I figured that actually, um, you know, that would help me uh, understand it more. But then like, I was watching like old Disney cartoons and. Um, See, here's Kate when she's in the control room. She has top lip. I think I just forgot what I was talking about then. <laughs> I was concentrating on like getting this right. There you go, you don't want to do overdo it. Okay, good. My is my green screen holding up? Yeah it is. Good. I mean I'm very washed out because I've got a window like right here. And so, but then if I like move the curtain or anything, I'm going to lose the, the green screen. <laughs> Jurassic Unicast asks, Ewans, who is this chick? And I'm assuming that's James. Oh, you did write a J. This is Kate Launton, she's a character from my new cartoon series. Um, yeah, this character here. There you go, there's her ID card, look. With her very young picture. But yeah, so this is what I've drawn on this stream uh, today so far, uh, right now, for the little bit. Oop, just dropped my stylus. No. And now it's like to do all the shadow details. So a good way of getting sort of a 3D-ish look to characters I found as if you if you basically roughly draw their outline um, 
you know, just inside, like what I'm doing here. I'm hoping that's showing up on there. Uh, how are you doing the animation for it? Um, I'm doing it in another program using different uh, tools through VideoPad. Um, so if I do that, I grab her just a little bit from the, like, just a, like sort of slightly inside the, uh, you know, the frame of the character and then go to hue and saturation and then just lighten it a little bit or darken it so that you can get like got the outside looking light so that's like if she walked into a room and the doors behind her you'd have the light uh, at the back but I'm actually going to lighten it up a little bit actually you know what Forget that. She looked better before, but I still need to do. Uh, I still need to grab around the boob, around the boob, near their stomach. Uh, there we go, and then darken this. And then add the shadow to get her looking uh, all good and 3D. Add the shadow of her hair. I'll do that again. Uh. <laughs> Jack Ewan grabs boobs live on stream. <laughs> get her looking all good girl um, I'm actually thinking maybe it would have been better to this area where her armpit is is annoying me. Is there a professional plausible boob size you have to stick to? Says Jurassic Unicast. <laughs> no, I could I could have the boobs as big or small as 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 I like, you know. But um, yeah, it's just what I see fit for each character, I guess, <laughs> including the men. <laughs> see you later, Shadow. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. Okay, so we've been streaming now for about two hours. It's not too bad. Light up, light up.
should have. <laughs> no. Um, right, so now she. Now I need to do layer. Add a shadow under this. See, now you can see how rough the outline is if I uh, move the distance. If I do it about there, you can see how rough the outline is. So I'm just going to take a rubber and then just rub around the edges. <laughs> Basically, get the uh, the edge as smooth as as humanly possible. Ooh, not like that, though. Jake Daint Stinton says, I used to watch your old channel ages ago. Glad I found your new one. Oh, thanks, man. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm glad you managed to, to find me on my new channel. Yeah, the old one... Uh, you know, I liked my old one, but the thing was, it, it, you know, I was using too much copyrighted material on there, and so I couldn't uh, really truly make it my own. And so this new one is uh, is much better, in my opinion. I, I much prefer this channel to my old one. Good old Terradome. Eric Woods, hey Jack, just watched your support video for Dinosaur Defenders. Definitely going to do something with this. Ah, oh, thanks, Eric Woods. Like honestly, like the the this project, I've heard so many people out there, um, you know, fans of the Jurassic Park series, fans of the Alien series with uh, Operation Aliens and stuff, the cancelled cartoon show for that film franchise, and it's like they all say like, oh, why isn't there anyone, you know, making something like this because you know no one else is doing it, and so I just figured, well, why not be the one to actually answer that call, you know, and create something that um, is aimed for people like myself who have wanted to see a, uh, you know, sort of adult, more adult themed uh, cartoon show uh, that has dinosaurs in it and has uh, people being eaten by dinosaurs and has uh, all that sort of stuff. That's why I created the Patreon to like get support because I've heard so many people complain that that doesn't exist and it's like, well, it could do. Um, we just have to uh, do it. Always create what you hardly see. Yes, and also what you want to see. Like I want to see this series. <laughs> I've wanted to see something like this for, for a while. You know, and it only hurts when you hear things like that they cancelled the original Jurassic Park animated series and uh, Operation Aliens, as I just mentioned. It's like, oh man, we got so close to that sort of stuff. But, you know, we, uh, so here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, that uh, looks pretty good. Um, trying to think, maybe the shadow's a little bit too harsh. Convert that to a smart object. I've been wanting to see something like the DPG. I'm, I've been wanting to see something like the DPG and Masrani Global for a while. Well, I'm glad we were able to uh, uh, give you that. Those were a lot of fun to uh, to work on. And uh, if you stick around on uh, the 
Tuesday I'm doing my Let's Chat Jurassic Park Live number nine. And I'll be talking about like, you know, the behind the scenes of the DPG and Maserati Global with that. Hello Bryce. Mackenzie. Welcome to the stream. getting all the shadows shading right underneath. I just woke up, it's six o'clock here. Oh man, it's now five o'clock in the afternoon where I am. So you're like nearly 12 hours behind or in front, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> It's 11 a.m. here. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... Looking pretty good, I have to say. Although, maybe a mouth can be... There you go, that's better. Now, just to add, like, extra little detail, I'm gonna, like... Um, Add a new layer. I'm going to make her glasses reflect the light. So I'm going to go for a really light blue. No, sorry, a white. And uh, color these in. Will the Dino Defenders get their armor? asks Bryce McKenzie. Now, that's an interesting question because I want to, yes, they will have armor in this. They're going to be going up against dinosaurs, so they're going to need like uh, something to protect them. But I'm really excited about that because I've got an idea for like how they would like approach the dinosaurs um, and be armored and I'm a big fan of like aliens, as I said, and um, so like I love the Marines. They're gonna look a little bit more heavily armored than that, but like they're gonna have armor, and it's gonna look uh, hopefully really, really cool. But there's also something else that they have to tackle the dinosaurs, which I'm keeping completely secret for now. But like, <laughs> it's like ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to bring that to life, and hopefully that'll be a great um, uh, thing to have in this series. Uh, let's go for like 15. There you go, 14. There you go, so. Oh no, oh no, that's 114. There you go, so now she's got like a bit of glow on her glasses. Monster Man Alex, Dino Power Loaders. Getting closer. <laughs> I love their Halo-esque power, uh, power armor, says Bryce McKenzie. <laughs> Any Dimetrodons, asks Eric Wood. I know it's not a dinosaur. Okay, well, that's a, uh, a spoiler, but yes. And the Dimetrodons are going to be in this because um, I absolutely love the old Kenner action figure for Jurassic Park. And um, it's one of my favorite prehistoric animals. And I've, I think they, they don't get enough love. So... Yes, the Dimetrodons do appear in this. Or Dimetrodons, however you want to pronounce them. Right, now let me... Uh... They're actually the first... Um, uh... They're actually... Um, 
the first thing you see in the series. There's a shot I've put in the... Um, uh, you can see them on the security cameras in the in the clip I put up on my video on the channel right now, the one where I'm like talking about what I'm going to be doing for the series. Um, if you look closely at all the security cameras, you might be able to see like the fins of the uh, of the Dimetrodons. She's just adding her shadow on the wall right now. Ooh, music, music. Uh, what else have we got? From my friend's old band. Let's listen to. Oh, I love this song. I might just turn it up a tiny little bit. Um, my favourite as well, I still have the toy, the toys have always made me feel like there was more dinosaurs in the park than shown, says Eric Woods, mm-hmm. Will we get camo extreme dinosaurs or variant of colours? Oh, you're gonna get, they're gonna be like, um, uh, wait, where's, they're gonna be like the Chaos Effect toy line, so they're gonna be all crazy. Look at this on the green screen, let, the... The um, it goes like the Indominus slit. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys were here for the stream earlier, but have you guys seen um? Hey, let me uh, let me just turn this down. I can't hear myself speak. Um, yeah, you guys have seen Fallen Kingdom. Uh, you know, with the brachiosaur, I got the brachiosaur. It's like, I don't feel so good. Uh... <laughs> hey, Will's here. Let me. Um, I'll be back in a second. My friend Will, who's uh, in the Terradome episodes, he's just arrived. One second. Right here he is. Green. Yeah. No. Oh. He's good. <laughs> so sweaty. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Right. Let me um. Move that aside. And I'll come and station myself in. here. Okay. Yeah. So I was just. Oh, that's uh, a cool setup, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it would be better when I'm in my new place because I'm going to have um. We'll be able to put this in like the shed. Listen to what I'm listening to and what they're hearing. I was like, yeah, need some copyright free music. So I was like, FBK. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, Sweet. let me just do this shadow and then I'm going to head because Will's here now. Uh, I've ruined it for you all. I've been streaming for two hours, 15 minutes. Two and a quarter hours. <laughs> two and a quarter hours. Jeez, Louise. Just That's a good old shadow you put on there. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, I've got a head. There we go. Let me just uh, do that. And then go and blur. Blur it a little bit more. 
There we go. Let me just down the impasse a little bit. All right, there we go, guys. So two hours, 15 minutes or so, and we have the frame is basically finished. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. It's been great. And uh, I hope you guys will come back. Um, I might stream again uh, between now and Tuesday when I do my next, next Let's Chat Jurassic Park. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, my, yeah. my two minutes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so go check out the Patreon, which is above there, <clears throat> and support if you can. Um, uh, but if not, tell your friends about it, and that's uh, yeah, spread the word. Because uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll uh, I'll now head off. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>